Hi there, Mona Michelle here. So I'm just going to call you Sal, if that's okay. I'm probably going to totally try to mess up your name if I try to say it. So if you don't mind for now, me just calling you that for short, I hope it's not offensive. Um, okay, so like I said in my text, uh, now I thought you said you wanted to live in Edmond. Um, and so the homes that you sent me are really kind of thought where I thought you would want to stay, which is around everybody else. As you know, uh, these two homes we're going to look at today are actually in my neighborhood and um, Muhammad's neighborhood. And so I'm kind of partial to this particular neighborhood for sure. Um, now there might be I'd have to drive down there and see. But anyway, we're just going to focus in on this house. This one is the one at um, 5701 Northwest 115th. It's in the very back of the neighborhood. It's 1876 square feet, three bed, two bath. The taxes on it are 2247 So there's a lot of good things uh, that I like about this house. First of all, the siding has been updated. So... That's really nice. And it looks like it's in really good shape too, on top of it. Got a flower bed here. There's a sprinkler right there. So let's see if they say, may say on here that they have a sprinkler system. I'll have to look and see. It looks like they might, because there's another sprinkler head right there. So this very well could have a sprinkler system. And it may say that in public remarks, but he just didn't put it in the spot where I normally go to look at those. Look at that. So now the windows have not been updated. So that those will need to be updated. Not sure what the deal is here. This looks to me almost like a French drain. Like they were ha having something drain right through here. That's what that seems like it is at least to me. Okay, and then it's, it's got that light there with the, but it's missing the cover on this one. Just so you know. What I'm doing is I'm just looking to see if I see any cracks in the bricks, in the brick that's obvious. And on this side, I don't. I don't see anything that's obvious. But you do have a long walkway here to the, to the porch area. Small little area to be able to put a nice bench, cute little decorations. Gonna have to get a a doorbell because apparently they took the ring doorbell or whatever they had here. So you enter in into a really, you know, not actually that the tile's actually in nice shape. It's probably redone in the let's see this here. This was built in the 1970s, but this looks like 1980s to me. And you've got a very nice large living room space here with lots of natural light, which I think is really awesome. And then you're gonna have a formal dining here. All right, and then your kitchen, it's also a pretty good sized kitchen. These are for Micah countertops. Price point on this is $233.60. And likely it's it's low like that because it doesn't have granite and the bathrooms need to be updated as well. If this works. So that kind of just a hook there. I'm trying to see how oh, maybe there's something on the back side. Maybe I'm pushing it wrong? Don't know. 
it's got a little little thing here that I'm pushing. It's not really, or maybe I slide it. Not sure how that works, but either way. Looked like they were trying to update it at least. I will look and see if this is vented out because that's been important literally to every single family I've shown, and it's not. So my understanding is you guys cook in such a way that you require ventilation. So you'll have to add ventilation. It's very common that there's not ventilation up there, by the way. Be aware of that. So you've got an oven here. And your microwave here. So, and then this cabinet here, just some area to put like maybe um, your uh, soups and all your stuff that would go in a pantry, I would assume goes there. Just know that normally refrigerators and washer and dryers do not convey, which means they don't go with the property. But um, since it's here, they're likely wanting to keep it. Those are some really nice built-ins over there. And since we're over here by the laundry room and in the garage, I'm gonna stop in here first. So washer dryer hookup. And then you've got some space over here. If you wanted to put another cabinet here or a deep freezer, there's plenty of space for that. Cabinet, if you want sort of a separate pantry, or again, a deep freezer would be just fine, or a second refrigerator here. So if you already have a refrigerator, we can ask for them to leave the one that's already here. And uh, you could put that one out here and use it. So water heater. The water heater actually looks fairly new. It looks like it's been well taken care of. It's a 2021. And that's a really good brand to... Okay, where the HVAC goes up, it's the furnace is gonna be up in the attic. Now let me tell you what's really wonderful about this house is like most homes in this neighborhood, the vents are in the floor on most of these homes. And uh, they have already flipped the vents to the ceiling, which is wonderful. I mean, that's a very expensive thing. So you have an extra closet here for storage. This is open. I bet they don't pay for that to be open. I'm going to lock that. So see down there where it used to, underneath this cabinet here, there's a vent down there. Well, anyway, it's blocked off now because they have flipped it to the ceilings. So that is great. Mohammed ended up getting his flipped to the ceiling. He, his circumstance when he was buying a house was such that they, uh, they could not use the duct system underneath the house because there was an issue. That's a real wood burning fireplace. But again, my understanding is y'all don't really use fireplaces much, so. So lots of space, cabinet space. This would be a cute for a little coffee bar or tea bar, something like that. Uh, hall closet space here for, or coat closets. Looks like they've replaced the carpet, so it's brand new carpet. Now, one thing I love, love about uh, Bluff Creek or even homes, a lot of the homes built in the 1970s here in Oklahoma are the bedrooms are going to be pretty big. You can easily fit a king size bed and two nightstands right here in this guest room or, you know, second or third bedroom. Plus, it has a built in. <laughs> so, yeah. Newer homes, you're going to get a lot of smaller bedrooms. Again, they flipped and moved move the furnace up there. Actually, this, this would have been where the furnace was in here. Okay, this bedroom, let's see, 
is again this is just another set like like that this is not the master it's the set like a second bedroom third bedroom whichever you want to call it somebody when they painted they didn't go all the way to the edge that's all that is but easily another king size bed i mean it's it's really big actually so plenty of space And then you have a linen closet. Oh, this one, this one here leans out to put laundry in it. Just drop it down in there. So, hopefully, your wife will think that's quite a bit of space. We'll see. Now here's the master, which it is bigger than the other bedrooms for sure. Got a walk-in closet here. Places for shoes. I mean, you could put a king-size bed there. You could put it over here, wherever you like. Now, again, these bathrooms need to be updated for sure. I mean, you'd wanna maybe consider at some point tearing that out if you liked this house and tearing out those mirrors and just doing something a little more up to date. Same thing with the countertops and the faucet. I mean, they're, they're older, but I like the price point. This is gonna be another closet. So this will be usually his closet. She, she usually gets the walk-in closet and then the man usually gets the little old nothing of a closet. Doesn't seem fair, but that seems to be the case. I would want to repaint this bathroom too. The tile's not horrendous, but once again, I mean, the caulking around it looks gross. They didn't do a good job, whoever did that. But again, I would, I would want to remodel this whole bathroom. I mean, it's dirty, look how dirty that looks right there. So. Little place for towels, washcloths, extra shampoo. Things like that, toilet paper, whatever. And then underneath the, the, the vanity there, you've got storage. Turn these lights off as I go. This. Here's that second bathroom. Again, I would want to redo this because this is just super old school, very original. I don't think that the tile in here is too bad at all, actually. I don't know that I would change too much about that. Well, you may not like these handicap bars on here, though. So, yeah. But storage up there and storage down here. Let's go ahead and see what we're looking like in the backyard. So this backs up to a really um, kind of fancy neighborhood, by the way. That's the roof to those. But I'm going to tell you, one of the things I like about Bluff Creek, I'm not just partial to it because I live here, but we're surrounded. This neighborhood is literally enclosed with high-end neighborhoods. Like the, the homes over there are 350 and up. And all the way around us, it's like that. So that's kind of a nice thing that I personally like about this particular neighborhood. This fence over here has been replaced. That one over there looks good. Got a little bit of erosion here. That's why you see the edge of that. 
there's a sprinkler head there. Now that unit there looks kind of old, so my outdoor condenser. So once again, windows may need to be updated. Yeah, there's a sprinkler head there. If I see a sprinkler head out in that lawn over there, I'm gonna. Now they have this right here. I wish that wasn't just in plain. Like right there. Somebody hang, hung their clothes right here on this clothesline. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Have an old fashioned clothesline. And this is their little raised bed for their vegetables or whatever they grew when they lived here. Got a little angel statue. Got this, this fence eventually, eventually needs to be replaced for sure. And it doesn't say on the sheet here how old the roof is, but mm -hmm. the brick looks good. I don't even I don't see anything foundation here that sticks out to me at all. So I don't know. I think it's kind of a cute house, but again, that just depends on if you want to do the updates to the bathrooms. Um, I'm off to the next house that's in our neighborhood. The next house I'm going to see, though, it's on, like, a, the busy road as you come into the neighborhood. So, keep that in mind. You may or may not like that. Because um, it's, like, the main road that goes through our neighborhood is called Bluff Creek Boulevard. So, everyone, the traffic's going to come right down that street to get to their home. So, keep that in mind when you're looking at the next house. I'll talk to you soon.